Greetings there, my fellow Heart Slayers. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 New Haven, Episode 41, Construction Hearts. You can hear the rooftop sniper. Yeah, there he goes, taking some out. When you say, what's a Plague Heart's range, what do you mean by range? Like, for it hurting you? Shit. When it uh, when it plagues out. All right, this feral needs to move. Oh, come on now. You're not gonna be able to seal the deal here, Mister. Can't even get in there, there's so many zombies. One of the problems with having like an open building like this is it gets warmed pretty good. Okay. Alright, the sniper just left, so it's not covering me anymore. That was the uh the vocal notice just now. And that one's down too. Finally, we can start claiming some nearby spots. Okay, I am going to switch up Milena. She became a hero, so she doesn't need to clear any more hearts. And I will loot these hearts with uh, the next person that we choose. But uh, two more down. Oh, nice. Little pirouette. Car ballet. Come on. Keep a rolling. Hey, you. They might be armless, but they are not armless. Give her Bolt Scout. And... Yeah, no, that's not a thing. Nope, don't abandon. That's not what I meant to hit. Uh, so, who goes next? Ezra, Ania, or Cadet, I think are the options. So, Cadet is fuel storage, Ezra is quiet, Ania is gun durability. And this boost yields even more. So right now we're um, 0.25 food a day, and this last boost yield should bring it up a bit more. Oh wow, overwhelmingly Ezra. Ezra also has a, uh, a quest to do, but I don't know if we're going to end up doing it or not. That's not going to happen. Right, so let's switch to Ez. Some personal business has come up. I should take care of it. He's trying to find his old partner, Terry. But before I even do any of that stuff, I want to go back to the scene of the bomb to loot it a bit more. Which, if I'm looting it, uh, I'm not going to bring... I'm going to under-equip myself just so that I have extra room. So I'll just bring a crossbow, no extra ammo, no throwables. Should be fine, right? Famous last words, but should be fine. It's also right across the street from the Soul Eaters. They're a bug enclave, but if I run into trouble, I can always run into their base and just seek shelter because they'll fight zombies for me.
Why would I, um, want to take, uh, Weaver to loot it? Honest question. I, I don't see the difference there. Does he have all the pockets? Oh, true. Yeah, he does have tons of pockets. The reason I'm not too worried about uh, looting is I'm also right next to my outpost. So it's very, very easy for me to... We've been looking for a spot we could transform into an outpost. It's very easy for me to loot and drop stuff off and loot and drop That's stuff it. off quickly. Just because it's so conveniently close. And then if, if there's anything I want to sell, there's the soul eaters right across the street. I could dump it to them. Not that I plan on doing that. I'm just saying, hypothetically, I could. Alright, so with boost shields done, we're getting 4.25 food a day. That's, that's better. Screamer's just dripping with plague. Ooh, a fake A-47. Nope. Is there anything I can stack here? No. Okay. I guess I will have to make two trips. Unless I want to sell stuff to the soul leaders. Sorry, Ezra, you're going to be retired early. I hit that dirt pile and it kicked me up. I thought I was going to be able to dodge. And no such luck. I got a rip. I'd have to drop something else first. So I'll have him finish looting, and then I'll swap him off. The uh, the partner quest, although it says it will be abandoned if I don't accept it, it will almost certainly be offered multiple times. It's not like a once and done type scenario. It reoccurs, unless you fail it. Should have emptied my trunk. That would have made this a little easier. Too much to carry for long. There's only one more heart in this neighborhood. <sighs> Maybe I'll just push it. I'll just I'll just try to take the last heart out with uh with Ezra here. Just for speed. I don't, however, have extra plague cure. So I just made a batch of it. So there should be four cures now. Yeah, there they are. We'll loot this last heart, three remaining items, and then go for the... Or, I'll just go for the, the, the heart that's over here. And then I'll switch and loot. And then the whole northwest ed uh, an edge of the map will be on. nice and cleared. Try grabbing on, and I splat you. We're in the clear for now, but it's not safe with a plague heart. Let's keep rolling. Close. 
Aww. Alright, this is gonna be a spicy heart. I can already feel it. Because it's our, it's so surrounded. It smells like a whole town dying. Okay, you can't jump through there. It's good to know. I don't have any fire throwables. I'm really setting myself up for success is what I'm trying to say. Oh, and this was still out gassing. Alright, play guard down. Now we can start securing this area for real. Unfortunately, I don't really have a way to deal with, you know, all of them. Other than to run away and circle back for my car. Too many plagues. Eh? His weapon handling, yeah, Get it just maxed out. Thing. I was gonna say, it is so stable to shoot with him. There's like no sway at all. All right, come on, Farrell. I want to loot the heart, so just come latch onto my trunk. This Farrell's bugged. <laughs> He's just roaring in a corner over and over to himself. Come on, buddy. I know you're back here somewhere. Oh, you're like stuck. Oh, okay, you were stuck, and then you magically teleported out of the mountain to attack me. Like you're some sort of sand lion or something. Well, oh, eat it. Ant lion, that's what I was trying to think of. Alright, let's, let's see. I can carry. I have to slow down. Can play cards reappear? They cannot. Nope. Once done, always done. You think I'm missing some doors? I think that they, they got destroyed. Yep. Yeah, so so at the start of a new game, there is a certain amount of parts that are created. And the sort of one of the two things that you need to do to win is to um, is to clear all the hearts. So there are a finite amount of hearts, unlike infestations, which constantly reoccur. So there will always be more infestations given time, but hearts are finite. I still want to do the scavenging as well for the building materials that was out there. So even though as a result tooled up and whatever, I'm going to have them scavenge for that too. Because I should be, I should be fine. And then at some point I have to make a return trip back to home because although I can offload my smaller items here, I can only ruck the large items back home. And eventually my trunk will be full of rucksacks. The spawn rate of infestations aren't affected by the hearts, but what is is like the hearts get tougher as they get fewer. 
So the game does get harder as you clear more of them. Hearts become... I think the as far as like the lore goes, the remaining hearts become more guarded by the plague zombies that don't want to go extinct or whatever. So it does get more challenging. That won't work. No, it won't work. I don't know what you're trying to do, Ezra. But it seems really ineffective. It's a rolled base. It's weird to be back looking for building materials. It like indicates that we left something here. Why? Actually, you know what? Nothing works. I don't think building materials can spawn in a base like this. Oof. Maybe I should aim. All I've got is what's left in this man. Which means the building materials is guaranteed to be in this searchable. Because it can't be in there. Just what we need. On my way back to the barn. That's a lot of rucksacks. So, 11 out of 30 Plague Hearts destroyed. We have a lot more work to do. I'm just going to pick one at random for who's next. I'm going to say... I don't know. I'll, I'll pick the Surgeon. Just make her in charge. This game is banned in Iran. There's a lot of things banned in Iran. That doesn't surprise me. Iran likes to ban things. If your country doesn't have the freedom of speech and expression, there's nothing really protecting you from censorship, is there now? I wonder if we try. Oh, yeah, this is definitely the right route. Something I like to do every now and then is look up weird laws in the United States. Because even we have some super strange laws on the books. Like, it's illegal to feed, like, your donkey two beers. Or you're not allowed to go to sleep with your socks on. Like, just strange, outlandish laws. When you're like, what happened for this to have been passed into law? Like, was this a drunken dare? Or... Was there, like, the attack of the sock monster? Like, how did we get here? In Wyoming, it's illegal to shoot fish. Interesting. Isn't there, like, certain species of fish where you kind of need to shoot them? Like sturgeon? Because of how dangerous they are, if you catch them and put them on your boat, they can, like, break your legs with how much, how, like, viciously they thrash. So, I could be making it up. I know that there's a specific fish that people do this with, but I think it's sturgeon. So, like, the M.O. is everybody just shoots it once they catch it, if they intend to catch and release because otherwise it's actually a real threat to the people on the boat. All right, you did pretty good, Ezra. Yeah, to talk to somebody from your place who can say yes. No. <laughs> I love saying no to them. Love it. All right, so Ezra. Oh, I Gave up your melee weapon. That's dumb. There we go. What is your fighting style anyway? Oh, it's not determined. Let's switch off. And we'll go with Cadet. No, I don't like Cadet's bonus. Ania. It's your turn to shine.
I'm gonna be going west to clear out the infestations while I'm out there. Might as well two birds, one stone. It's halibut. Oh, okay. Maybe it's multiple. I don't know. Thought it was sturgeon. What is your fighting style? Not determined yet. I'm trying to give them weapons that, like, make sense, but given that I'm fighting a hard, I'll take a heavy. So. Do I make a batch of bolts? I think I'm going to. My building materials is pretty low, but gotta have my bolts. Alright, I'll take cure, firecrackers, scent block, firebombs, C4. I'll probably want more C4 than that, so I can just keep clearing, clearing, clearing. Provided I stay vertical, you know? Um, bolts. Okay, this might be too heavy. And a whole lot of C4. Looking good. So we'll go for the B house. I'm wondering if any of these play hearts. Oh yeah, Trash Pile House actually has building materials. That might... That's where I'm going first. So I'll clear the house with the creepy patio. Um, and then I'll do the trash house. What makes the patio creepy? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Halloween decorations? I bet it's something creepier than that. It's covered in clown dolls? That would be creepy. I gotta stay alert. Too many plague zombies around. Alright, so this is the creepy patio house, I think. Nope, it isn't, because I stopped at the wrong spot. Let me try that again. It doesn't look creepy to me. I'll take a closer look when I don't have a swarm on me. That was the last of them. Um, okay, my Fire in the hole. when I took that scent block, my like controls locked up and I wasn't able to do anything. I was trying to throw, and the game's like, ha <laughs> you don't have arms. You're a screamer now. This is great. Oh, because of the dead dog, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I like how they just don't perceive me to be a threat, even though I'm shooting them. I should reload. A 
Well, those screamers really brought in a lot. I've had to kill, like, double the pop of infestations. Or, ooh. I also use the scent block that will probably offer me protection if I'm fast and I can find the last moron that's somewhere around here. Oh, it's you. No more zombies at the moment, but that never lasts long inside plague territory. All right, going out to the trash pile house. I think all the C4s in the trunk. Okay, time to go to work. Not in there. Here it is. I might have planted that uh, too close. That's the way to kill this thing. Nope, it was good. Every now and then when you plant, like, too close, it clips into the world and doesn't do damage. So you gotta be careful with the, the exact location that you put it. Or it uh, ends up clipped. I've only said hope the sucker's game, so maybe I'm a sucker. All right, it's gone. Start claiming nearby locations. Yep, that's heavy enough. Now there's a feral around here somewhere, but I'm cloaked because of scent block. So I'm just gonna keep looting. Not worried too much about it. Hey, team man! How you doing? Thank you for the raid. Let me give you the proper shout out. There we are. How you doing, dude? I am just bringing it to the zombies. In style. Or as much style as I can muster. Wow, shoutout was given? Yeah, the new shoutouts are really cool, aren't they? They're native, too. That is pretty neat. I, I know. I really like it. Hey! Uh, I don't know how to say your name. Tilion? Is the best I can... I'm sure it's wrong. But yeah, thank you for the sub. Oh, did you get the last bumper treat? I did not. I did not do that haiku. It's it's hard to give out uh, treats mid plague heart. Here, buddy. Especially when Yoda doesn't pay attention, I have to like inform him that he has been bequeathed a gift. Next one's the last one. Don't touch me. Was goofing around in 1.4. Yeah, 1.4 is going to be a lot of fun when uh, fully comes out with uh, biotech. Alright, my scent block's gone. And so are the infestations. I'm not quite hero yet. Um, I didn't even fully loot that trash house. I'm gonna head back and swap. I think it's probably better that I don't completely exhaust my people so I can cycle through them quicker so that they're on for a heart or two, off for a heart or two, depending on how that goes. The only thing I don't like about the new shoutouts is I don't get to see the shout out, so I don't know what you were playing last until you tell me. I wish it would do that. That's the one feature that's really missing. Mm. 
I've been following this for a bit. It's hard to catch a stream because of time zone problems. I know, man. I know. I'm not even streaming at my normal time because I had father duty earlier. Stuck caring for my little one. Not stuck. I mean, that sounds like it was horrible. Although he did not behave for me. He was uh, mixed screamy today. Kind of like the screamers here. Unable to really use his hands and just wants to scream bile at me. Not literally, maybe, but kind of feels that way. Alright, I'll leave that stuff in the trunk, because um, whoever's picking up next will use it. Tough, but good. Yeah, I'm a, he, he's, um, even according to my wife, my kid has, like, stars in his eyes for me. When he sees me, his face lights up, and it's really cool. And, like, even though she does the lion's share of, um, of child care, it's actually, like, unfortunate. I kind of wish she had a better reaction when he sees her. But when he sees me, he his eyes start to glow and he smiles. He's like ear to ear every time, even though I haven't really earned it. <laughs> Look, man, I'm sorry. You deserve this more than I, but take what you can get. All right, uh, so switching off of her, I need to give her a proper gun. Give you, let's actually give you that JL-94. Man, I really would have thought that was like an MP5 or something, but I'd be wrong. Give me that gun, and then swap to Cadet. He'll swap later on. Mom almost always rule with boys. However it shakes out, man. You know, I don't. Uh, I don't impose expectations because you're only you know, just let it go how it goes. You know. I definitely should. Oh, at, here we go, Adelita. Hand off this anti material rifle. Too heavy. It's good philosophy. Yeah, yeah. You can't be disappointed if you don't hold expectations. Not that I expect to be disappointed, but. You know what I mean. Let's get back out there. Crossbow, check. Stamp pills, meds, check. Cure, yep. Simp lock. Fuel bombs. Kind of low on firecrackers. I can make a new batch. Firecrackers. The C4 is in the trunk. So, bolts. And. I feel like I'm missing something. I'll be like halfway out driving. And realize what I'm missing. So locate materials on a 13 minute cooldown. Um, call for traders and on an 18 minute cooldown. So probably one more heart and I'll be able to call in more building materials. It'd be really good to start stockpiling building materials. Uh, just so that I don't run into any uh, breakdown problems. With that said. Okay, there's definitely a plague heart here somewhere. So I'm gonna go find that plague heart because it's uh closest. With that said, I need to also loot the further plague heart. Oh, sent block? I thought I grabbed Yeah, I know I have sent block. I I grabbed it. Alright, so that's the last boost yields, and what does that give us? 825 a day. Not bad. I would have left that screen up longer if I could. Oh, I am already driving the wrong way. So I don't know where this heart is. I just know that there's a heart here because some of the buildings are blocked from expansion. So I just need to drive by the stuff around here until the heart presents itself. Oh, I'm not even the right... Okay, again, I'm in the wrong neighborhood. I must have marked something else on the map. Alright, there. Drive to yellow marker. And stop getting so distracted. 
I don't have a heavy weapon. I think that's the one thing I'm missing. I have a mono gear X, which is not correct. But I can fix it. I'll grab a heavy weapon from this pharmacy. Alright, where's the heart? Probably in this warehouse on the left. Yep, it's in there. When you drive close enough, you identify it. I mean, I can literally see it through the window. That's a weird way to dodge, dude. Not doing with that. Nope, don't hit me. Uh uh. No, no. I can't keep this up. Ah, they got one hit in. No touchy. Oh, it's farting. Okay, it's on the road. Second phase. I don't even have my C4 on me. That was noise. Where to park? That also says site might contain building materials, so it might be worth me searching the site for building materials once I'm done. Hey, Pharaoh! This place is just awful. How you doing, dude? That checks another box on my scavenger bingo card. No room for that. That won't work. Hmm. All right, another heart down. Thirteen. What did I start at? How many hearts have I killed so far? Five? Uh, I should be keeping track, but I haven't. Loader in here? That's gross. Yo, Feral. Go. Can you be Feral somewhere else? Apparently you can't. I'm stuck here. Oh, there you go. I was stuck. He, uh, he kind of saw through my scent block. I'm going to set him on fire. Not that it will kill him, but because I'm mad. There we go, full clear. Uh, there was building materials here. That oh, sounds like there's another feral out here too. That's not building materials. Come on, give me, give me materials. There it is. All right, now I'll head home. Switch off of uh, cadet with two rocks of materials. Not bad. There's also a new infestation to my northwest that wasn't there a second ago. I'm sort of um low-key clowning around on these. They're not 
They don't require me to take them all that seriously, which is why I'm punching them and running circles around <laughs> ferals. He only hit me because I couldn't dodge out of that stuck spot. Alright. Supplies have been delivered. That should take care of our supply shortage for a bit, I think. Or at least I hope. Can you temporarily wipe all the Zeds out on the map? No. Not not with how they spawn. They don't spawn in a way that would allow for that. It's not like Project Zomboid. There's just always going to be more. So all the ones that aren't heroes yet, uh, I think are in the infirmary. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 New Haven, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 18th and October 19th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind the series has since ended. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord as does the description in this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, to its subscribers and viewers like you that made it all the way to the credits. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.